The humble pickup truck has remained a popular choice among Americans for many years, with each passing year bringing new advancements that enhance both comfort and utility. But there are some trucks with advanced features and design that were way ahead of their time. Yet, these trucks never got into production and stayed hidden from normal public. So, here are some of the most secret pickup trucks that almost nobody knows about them. The 1994 Ford Power Stroke truck offered a sneak peek into Ford's upcoming design direction and technological advancements. Serving as a precursor to the rounded 1995 Explorer, this concept truck was built on a modified heavy-duty frame and borrowed its interior from an F-Series pickup of the time. Its most notable feature was the turbo diesel 7.3-liter V8 engine, later adopted for production under the Power Stroke name. Despite being a concept vehicle, it was surprisingly road-ready. Sporting a yellow exterior, the truck boasted several distinctive elements. These included a wraparound windshield, concealed A-pillars, integrated rear fender flares to cover the dual rear wheels, and a visor extending from the roof over the front windshield. These features were cutting edge for 1994. Inside, the cabin was equipped with tech features typical of pickups from that era, such as an integrated center console, cruise control, and a cassette player. Although its impact on the styling of subsequent F-Series pickups was minimal, the Power Stroke concept remains a nostalgic symbol of 1990s Americana. The Honda Spocket, developed by Honda and showcased at auto shows in 1999 and 2000, was quite a head-turner. It was a convertible with a unique feature, the rear half could be converted into either a second row of seats or a flat storage area. Designed by Honda's California studio, the Spocket boasted a hybrid powertrain. The gas engine powered the front wheels, while electric motors took care of the rear ones. Despite its innovative design and technology, it never made it to production. Inspired by Honda's T360 mid-engine pickup truck, the Spocket sported a futuristic look with angular bodywork eye-catching tilt-up doors, and a vibrant red over gunmetal gray color scheme. Inside, it featured durable bucket seats made from high-quality fabrics. The concept car also showcased an advanced four-wheel drive system with a hybrid gasoline-electric engine driving the front wheels and in-wheel electric motors powering the rear ones. Additionally, it came with a semi-automatic five-speed transmission featuring shift buttons conveniently located on the steering wheel. The 2011 Ram 5500 Long Hauler was crafted by Chrysler's Innovation Group. It began as a Ram 5500 Crew Cab Laramie Chassis Cab truck with a 197.4-inch wheelbase, powered by the renowned 6.7-liter Cummins engine, churning out 305 horsepower and 610 pound-feet of torque. Paired with a medium-duty Icene Seiki S68 RC 6-speed automatic transmission, NV273 2-speed transfer case, a 7,000-pound capacity Magna front axle, and a Dana S111 rear axle, it was built to handle heavy loads. To transform it into the long hauler, Ram designers replaced the crew cab body with a mega cab from a Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn pickup and added an 8-foot Ram 3500 dually bed. They also constructed a custom midship pickup box to bridge the gap between the cab and frame, housing a 38-gallon fuel tank and the Ram 5500's urea tank. Additionally, two extra fuel tanks were installed to extend the truck's fuel range. The long hauler rode on a full Kelderman air suspension front and rear, coupled with 19.5-inch Alcoa aluminum wheels. With an impressive length of 24 feet, a height of 79.1 inches, and a curb weight around 9,300 pounds, it was tailored for heavy-duty hauling across long distances. The 1997 Dodge Sidewinder was this really cool concept car that Dodge showed off at the CMA convention in Las Vegas. It was the brainchild of Mark Allen, a designer at Chrysler. They called it the Dodge Dakota Sidewinder because it was basically a futuristic, convertible version of the Dodge Dakota. What made the Sidewinder stand out was its looks and what was under the hood. It was a two-door roadster with a utility vibe. 
and it packed a massive 8.0-liter Viper V10 engine. This beast of an engine churned out 640 horsepower and 530 pound-feet of torque, which meant it could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4 seconds. Its top speed? An impressive 170 miles per hour. Plus, it had a 4-speed automatic transmission. The Sidewinder was built on a chassis from Riley and Scott, and it had a pretty sleek body with a wheelbase of 112 inches, length of 189 inches, width of 74 inches, and a height of 56 inches. It was relatively light, too, weighing in at 2,700 pounds. Even though the Sidewinder never hit the production lines, it became this iconic show car and a symbol of what a high-performance version of the Dodge Dakota could have been. It's still a dream ride for anyone who loves the idea of a super-fast truck. The 2002 Dodge M80 was a pickup truck Dodge dreamed up for the North American International Auto Show. Picture it as this cool mix of old-school Dodge truck vibes from like the 1930s and 1940s, but with a modern twist. They based it off the Dodge Dakota, aiming to hit younger buyers looking for something compact, doesn't break the bank, and can still haul stuff around. Under the hood, it packed a 3.7-liter V6 engine, cranking out about 210 horsepower and 235 pound-feet of torque, matched with a five-speed stick shift. This setup was all about keeping it simple and fun to drive. Design-wise, it had some neat features like storage lockers on the side made of plastic, these old-school fuel caps that screw off, and big 20-inch steel wheels that just scream tough. Even though Dodge never actually sold the M80, it's still pretty cool to think about what could have been. It had this unique look and feel that would have been perfect for folks wanting a smaller truck that's easy on the wallet, but still has some personality and practicality to it. The Chevrolet XT2, introduced in 1989, was a groundbreaking concept pickup that combined elements from the El Camino and the Iraq Camaro, setting a new standard for automotive innovation. Equipped with a high-performance V6 engine producing 360 horsepower, it could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6 seconds and cover a quarter mile in approximately 13 seconds flat. This V6 engine, derived from Trans Am racing technology, utilized Chevy's high-performance bowtie components, including the block and cylinder heads. Notably, the XT2 served beyond the typical role of a concept vehicle, as it was actively used as a pace vehicle for the CART PPG IndyCar World Series. To meet the demands of its pace vehicle duties, the XT2 was constructed on a tube frame with built-in roll bars for safety at high speeds. Its design featured a large, sloping windshield that doubled as the hood, lifting on gas struts like a hatch for engine access. Additionally, the rear drivetrain could be accessed through a removable bed floor. Its exterior boasted a unique paint job by PPG, with a clear-coated finish featuring blue mica chips over a red base. This combination gave the X-T2 a striking electric blue appearance in sunlight, transitioning to purple in low-light conditions. The GMC Teradyne made its debut at the year 2000 North American International Auto Show. Its name, Teradyne, combines terra, Latin for of the earth, and dyne from Greek meaning strength and power. Under the hood, the Teradyne boasted a robust 6.6-liter Duramax diesel V8 engine coupled with GMC's quadrasteer four-wheel steering system, which later became an option for full-size pickups starting in the 2002 model year. Its Allison 1000 Series 5-speed automatic transmission offered both normal and tow or haul modes, along with engine-grade braking and power takeoff capabilities. A unique feature of the Teradyne was its innovative door design, splitting in the middle and sliding towards the front and rear. This setup made accessing the cab a breeze and eliminated the hassle of getting stuck in tight parking spaces. With no B-pillar, Loading and unloading cargo was made even easier thanks to the wide open space. Inside, the Teradyne provided an extended cab layout to accommodate more passengers comfortably. The cargo bed could be expanded from 6 to 8 feet using an extending tailgate. Additionally, it came equipped with 110 and 220 volt power outlets powered by an onboard engine-driven 5,000 watt generator.